Hola everybody, my name's Izzy and welcome to Izzy's Planet. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression video game play on Dungeons and Dragons Online. This is a free to play 3D fantasy MMORPG published by Turbine. And I actually did a review on Lord of the Rings Online which was published by the same publisher. So you're going to see a little bit of the same kind of stuff. We could expect that this game is good graphically. So here we are on the character select screen where I don't have any characters yet but I can create one here. But right below here you can see the buy account upgrade. Right there is where you get to actually upgrade your account from a free-to-play uh, account so you can have more abilities like uh, more quests. You can carry more money and there's, a, there's a several different things that you get more but uh, there's enough content in the free-to-play guys. Here we are on our select style. Here we have melee, spell, and specialist. Uh, that's kind of cool. It gives me uh, that's breaking it down for us real easily. I'm gonna go ahead and choose melee and go down to the next one. We got fighter, barbarian, paladin, and monk. And monk isn't free. You have to buy that one. But I've heard good things about that class right there. Anyways, let's see barbarian and paladin. I'm gonna go for the barbarian. And over here, you can read about that class right there. It says it's good. And let's go down to the third path. And this is our. Are kind of like our style within our style. We got Savage of the Wild, Storm of the Cargun, and stuff like that. You just read about it over here, and um, those are the abilities you get. It gets in depth with the character creation, so you can't. Uh, it's like what I said before on Lord of the Rings. Everything starts to be a little different from one another. Uh, you can't really find someone quite like yourself. Anyway, you got Human, Elf, Halfing. What is that? Halfing and Dwarf, and all these classes down here you can't play for free. So. We're not going to go over that anyways. So we got Elf over here. And I'm going to go for the Human. Just stick with the Humans real quick. And go down to the look. Ooh. Oh, no. I forgot to choose man. Where can I choose man? Oh, male. I could have done that. Okay, easy enough. And whoa, look at all these different ways we can customize our appearance. Our appearance. What am I talking about? Uh, here we got eyebrows, eyes, eyes color. And we got this big old randomize button, which is going to be my best friend right now. Because I can't really go over all that and find a decent look hmm bizarre looks I'm getting here guys I did see one that was alright no I'll leave it like that that'll be fine cool armor though right got a little um looks like a griffin's a griffin's face something like that name Izzy's planet there we go and what do we have here? Surname. Oh, surnames go better as your original name. And then you're... Ah, I'll just put Mr. right here and you'll see what I'm talking about right now. Create a character. And see, look right here. It says Izzy's Planet Mr. That would have been funny had I put Mr. Izzy's Planet. But anyways, no biggie. Looks like I've been stripped from all my awesome clothes. I mean... But they got this cool background, so it makes up for it. <laughs> Anyways, let's enter the game and check out this game. Oh, by the way, guys, this game was published all the way back in 2006. Can't believe how old this game is. And it actually just went free-to-play September 9, 2009, so just a year of free-to-play. I don't have any movement buttons. I can't press WASD to move. Oh, yes, I can. It's kind of frozen there for a second. Ooh, I walk really smooth and fast. You can jump by pressing the space button. And can we click to walk? Nope. Clicking is our combat. So it's kind of like that game I reviewed recently. What was it? Vindictus. Vindictus by the publisher Nexon. Talk to, talk to this NPC right here. What are you looking for? All this good stuff. Talk to him. Get over with it. All right. Easy enough. Okay. Follow him. No problem. Yeah, jumping with the space button here. Really fun, really cool. It's snowing here. And uh, I bet if you had your little 3D glasses on, I don't know, guys, if you have a 3D monitor or anything like that, but I just, I would enjoy this big time. Here we are. So you want a weapon or not? Heck yeah, I want a weapon. Let me talk to this guy, see if I can get a weapon. Well, that depends on what you want. And let's see. Whoa, we got all these different Reaper... Water staff, long sword, heavy mace, and great axe. Hmm, I think I better get the heavy mace because this one seems. They all seem like for different classes. I'm gonna get the heavy no mace. And swings. where is that? Take strikes with it. Where is it? Oh, we're gonna check my inventory. I press I for the inventory. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, right click that. No. Double left click that right there. And then equip into our weapons area. And we got not that many different um, areas we get to equip items. That's fine. No biggie. We already have enough of our special character creations, whatnot. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna open this crate. Open all these crates. I think he wants me to open that one specifically, but that one had gold in it. 
Woohoo, gold. 50 copper. All right. I did notice, I seen a little copper there, a little little sign there. We've got to press our inventory. And we got, like, platinum here, gold, silver, and copper, which is the only thing I'm getting right now. It looked like a bigger stack of copper to me, but anyways. What do you have tasks for me? Gonna click on there and blah, blah, blah. Salim, is at the grotto. Tell her to keep her knickers on. Tell her to keep her knickers on. What, is even, what does that even mean? Okay, gonna press M. Because it says right here to press M. And we get our little map on the side. And it seems like that's my that's me right there. And this is the little arrow where I need to go to. I'm gonna go and exit out of that. Because it seems straightforward, this path right here. I'm gonna follow this path and break all these crates open and barrels open guys I found this game a little complicated to download I don't know if you've ever if uh, any of you who are watching this play this game but there's a standard definition download and there's a high definition download the one that I downloaded was high definition but it didn't give me any shortcuts so it was kinda complicated to find the shortcut because if you go into the the game file you won't find anything but the uh, setup file and whatnot. If you do need any help, I will assist you. I don't mind doing that. Um, the grotto. Hmm. Okay, guys. This seems like w it definitely seems a lot like Vindictus. See, where well, you have to go into where, where you start off in like a town area. You meet up with all your friends there, get together as a party, and go into an, an instance where you get to fight monsters in a certain area only. So we got solo, normal, hard, elite, and epic. Um, right now, I can only do solo, but I I think I'm ready for epic. So just uncheck that one no I'm just kidding it owns a solo no problem so going in there I didn't know this game was um, instance but that doesn't make it any uh, not better actually that makes it kinda cool and adventurous guys this is Dungeons and Dragons online uh, if you ever played any of the um, Dungeons and Dragons made by Atari those games are amazing they, I mean they just changed it up we got a third person view or oh, we can do first person too really really cool guys um, I'm not a big Dungeons and Dragons fan but I did play it when I was a kid and I really enjoyed it I think they were really up on the graphics and here they don't they do not disappoint guys the water is reflecting off the walls in this huge cave and the function of the game is really easy really fun I'll remain here okay okay climb climb the ladder okay I'm gonna zoom out here so you can watch me climb the ladder Cool stuff. Got little cool symbols on the wall and whatnot. Looks like I gotta walk into this hole. Oh, y'all. Not bad. I didn't get hurt when I jumped, so. Okay, I guess I gotta go on by myself from here on. Check out the cool stuff. Got a little gargoyle lamp up here. Or not really a gargoyle. That's something different. Oh, there's a monster there. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Die. Yeah. Whoa, how about freaking Epic Strong in the beginning of the game? <laughs> I see a little lever here, I'm going to double click that. And it says I'm using it, so... See if I open that door for that lady over here. And yep. Holy crap, there's some monsters following you, Fall. Oh wait, no, those are the um, NPCs we saw earlier in the game. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's so little right there. Looks really funny. Anyways, I seen that we got our HP right here. No MP, I believe this is where our MP is going to be at little mini map up here and our file box you know what I call it guys I got help options log out uh, options are gonna probably lead you to your resolution settings and your master master volume and all that what's this good stuff we got the character sheet cool all our stats are located here strength decks and whatnot all these upgradable stats skills our features our spells and our enhancements I don't know about I didn't know about enhancements before I played here played this game either Izzy's planet you open the door are you kidding me I get like the retarded job. You guys can't open the door. I bet even he can open the door. <laughs> Little Mr. Jeets Shame Eyes. Shimmies. Shimmies, that's a funny name. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this door right here. Failed usage, the door is locked. Aw, door fail. No biggie. I got these exclamation marks over here. Oh god, monsters. Die. I'm gonna double click them. I'm gonna spam click these guys. I noticed back on here on my power bar. I don't know why I call that a power bar. What's wrong with me? That is a power key bar. There are more of them well, that's at least what I'm going to call it right now. Um, got a whole bunch of different things. Number one is to sneak around. Woohoo! Good to do if you um, are in a relationship and you don't want your wife to know what you are doing. You just press the number one. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, I'm going to get out of sneak mode. I'm going to let everyone fight these monsters. No biggie. Show you a couple of the things around here. We got power attack right here. 
and slender and trip. I could trip in this game? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go trip so this guy right wrenches. here. Are you scared, Are you scared of me? Of me? Come Calm down, down and, and fight. fight. That's kind of cool how y you have the text here above every every one of the NPCs, but they also have volume, so I don't know if you can hear. I'm gonna maybe make it to where you can hear the um, narrator as well, because I noticed it was a narrator as I was going to the dungeon over there. That's kind of cool. really like that about the game so far. Here we got Mr. Jeets who saved my life. Thank you, Mr. Jeets. What's down here? No problem. Woohoo. I'm going to go and sit down here and tell you more about here. We got Rage yeah, here. Cool. Here. Guys, there's a lot of skills down here so far. We got Search. Search Come ability of intelligence. Kind of cool. I'm going to get out of here. Oh. I just okay. I noticed that I could... Whoa. Good work. What happened? I see a key down there. Oh, snap. I guess he opened something down here. Guys, look. You can Call swim down you here. Know I noticed that a lot of people have a hard time swimming in most games. The way you swim is by looking downwards um, by right-clicking on your mouse. And then you press W, which is forward in the game. Oh, I'm walking on that ladder underneath water. And I got the key, so I'm going to go open this door. Because I'm the freaking bomb, guys. See, y'all guys can't swim. Ah, I can I'm the only one that swims. Anyways, I'm making a big deal out of this. Got a little map up here to show where we're going, so I don't have to bring up the uh, map. You can bring up the map I am. I just did right now. Gonna double click this since it's. Ahead, I'm resting right now. Cool. So I have 29 out of 34 health. Not really. I don't really need the rest, so I'm not gonna interrupt it. I was interrupted while resting. Gonna go down here and now. You're talking. Crikey! Are you kidding? Is this guy really saying crikey? Oh my god! How am I supposed to believe that this game is all the way back in like medieval ages or whatnot? <laughs> I'm gonna go and get rid of these exclamation marks. Oh my god, get out of here. I'm not a noob. How do I get in it? I gotta like kind of scroll through the area real quick and then it'll disappear. Unless that's how many question marks, I mean exclamation marks that I had. Double clicking to open the door? Or not? Yep, yep, it's working. Anyways, easy functions, guys. This game's very, f uh, very easy. Um, how do I say? It's time for us to go. Very smooth. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Smooth. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we got our uh, experience bar down here, but looks like I have, like, zero experience. <laughs> I like this little ball right here because it shows the, the character's face. Like, the NPC that I talked to shows her, her little stats and whatnot right there. That's kind of cool and useful. And what? I have no idea. Well, you need me to open that, dude? I noticed that you guys don't know how to open these things. Open the door for you guys and walk over here. Kill some more monsters. Oh, die. Anyways, I'm going to go walk around. Guys, um, the game looks great. I taught you as much as I could. Here's a little chat bar. I didn't say anything about that. Um, first impression on Dungeons & Dragons Online? It's great. The game looks cool. It looks a lot like World of Warcraft, guys. I mean, it's got that realistic cartoony look that I really like. If you want to play Dungeons & Dragons Online or learn more about it, then go on down to the description area down there and um, download or go to the website. Guys, if you have any more suggestions on what games I should be doing a first impression video gameplay on, then put it on the comment section below or go down to my channel and put it there. Y'all have a wonderful day, guys. Y'all, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Let Salimus do her thing. You and I'll take care of the important stuff. The treasure.